Why should you visit this little part of Texas? How about rolling hills, hiking trails, winding rivers, wineries, barbecue, music, dance halls, and not to mention the wildflowers in March and April. Did you say barbecue? And don't think this is just our opinion. Texas Hill Country was rated one of the top places to visit in the world in 2024 by CNN. So if you're a fan of small towns, scenic drives, and unique places to explore, especially in the cooler months, there is plenty here for you. So keep watching while we show you some of the coolest things to do in this part of Texas, including some of the things we discovered during our eclipse trip. I think we got it, the life we want it. It feels like everything is going our way. I think we made it after all the waiting. It feels like You've got to see this camera for the eclipse. Have you seen anything good yet? A little bit, just flashes. The clouds are killing us. Yes. Oh, little sunshine when she's gone. Do you hear the dogs? Yes. yes. The dogs are barking like crazy. It's getting dark. The lights are coming on. And you can't really tell with this camera because it's pulling the light up so much. But this is really crazy. It is 1.32 in the afternoon and it is getting very dark. Gosh, and just like that, the sun is coming back out. It was like three minutes. The street lights are off and the color is so different. It, everybody was so gray and now we're all brightening up again. Our eclipse event was a long time in the making. We actually made reservations for this campground two years ago and then made it a crew event. And man, was it worth it. Yeah, we were right in the line of totality. And the campground was pretty reasonable for the event. But more on the campground in a minute. If you're wondering how to join us on our next event, join the Someday Crew. It's one of the best RV communities out there. And it's kind of like a club. You join and then you get to participate in all of our activities. And we do a lot throughout the year. We will probably meet up and have these big events two, three, maybe even four times a year. So we've done a lot this year. And we hope to do more even next year. You also will meet friends to meet up with all across the country, have dinner with as your passing through and we do that a lot where we check out where all of our Sunday crew is and if you're there where we are we always try to meet up so if you want to be a part of a huge community have people to meet and travel with as you travel the country head over to todayasomeday.net and check out our Sunday crew these for half price now for each other's interest <laughs> <laughs> Garner State Park is right here in Concan, Texas, and it's one of the places where we took our second shakedown cruise. This is actually the most popular state park in Texas for mm -hmm. camping. It has over 1,400 acres, and it's perfect for fishing, swimming, hiking, and biking. But be sure to make your reservations early because this park stays booked. These miles that we run, these days in the sun, no worries and no regrets. We can live. One of the most popular things to do in this area during the warmer months is tubing the Frio River. If you can handle the heat, the Frio is 200 miles of secluded beauty. High limestone bluffs, enormous cypress trees, boulders, clear water. It is beautiful. The Frio River is fed by numerous springs, so the flow can vary quite a bit. Be sure to call some of the outfitters for the best locations to enter the river. Garner State Park has a great spot to gain access to the Frio to float your worries away. An important tip about inspecting your tow setup is to get out periodically, inspect it, check it, make sure everything's in, in working repair. But it's also imperative that you take it apart to clean it and inspect it. This riser 
was no longer needed, so it was removed off of a friend's motorhome. And you could tell it's bent. Everything worked like it should have been, but he didn't realize that it had been bent. It's a good tip to check your equipment. Recently, we had our RV ceramic coated, and while we were there, we learned a lot from the pros about how to clean the RV and what products work best. And that brings me to today's sponsor, Release Cleaner and Degreaser. Once you try Release, it will be your go-to cleaning product for every surface inside and outside the RV. What we love most about this product is it's made in the USA, biodegradable and non-toxic. It also does not have a chemical odor and is fragrance free, so it's not going to stink up the inside of your RV. It's safe enough to even use on ceramic coatings for those occasional stubborn bugs that need a little elbow grease. Release cuts through the dirt and grime, including baked on bug guts on the front cap and carbon soot on the tires. And oh, don't forget your tow car, boat, or even golf cart. You can pick up Release in their 32 ounce ready to use spray bottle, but the cheapest way to use Release is with their Ultra Concentrate. Each gallon of Release Ultra Concentrate will make 80 ready to use 32 ounce bottles at just over a buck a bottle. Use our coupon code to save 10% off your purchase. And if you order today, they are also also offering free shipping on any purchase over 75 bucks if you're ordering from the lower 48 so don't wait pick up release today and the next time you're parked beside us you can compete with Phil for the cleanest RV in the campground for once in a lifetime experience you'll want to come see the Frio bat tour as 10 to 12 million Mexican free-tailed bats take off into the night sky. It's a very cool event to watch, but I gotta tell you, it's quite smelly. <laughs> you may also catch a raptor dive for their dinner in the middle of all the bats. Step into the sunshine. I'll take this one because this won't be on the top of Phil's list of things to do. If you're looking for a little history, the Uvalde Grand Opera House was built in 1891 mm. and it is the longest functioning theater in the state of Texas. It's the perfect place to pop in for a concert or a play. If you love live music, you're going to be surrounded mm. by it. Between the bars, the restaurants, and the dance halls, you can't go wrong. If you have a motorcycle and you love to ride, this is your place. Three Twisted Sisters was rated the second best ride in the U.S in 2023 by Great Motorcycle Road. It's a hundred mile challenging loop with tight twisty curves, canyons, sheer drop offs, and not much in the way of guardrails. In one 15 mile section, there's approximately 65 curves. Now that's a ride. This is just an overview of what the area has to offer. The Texas Hill Country does not disappoint. We do want to give a big shout out to the Stars Over Texas RV Park. They welcomed us with open arms and thanks to them, our event was amazing. They even let us use their air conditioned building for free the whole week we were there. And they're looking to improve on the campground itself. They started while we were there putting in a new pool and a pickleball court. So there's a lot to offer here. And if you can't get into Garner State Park, they are only three miles outside the park and you can still go in and hike and have a great time in the park. Even 
even if you didn't get a campsite right inside. A quick shout out to Melinda who was in the office. Thanks for all of your help. If you're headed through Texas and wondering what all there is to do here, make sure you head down to the description box below. We have a ton of links down there with a ton of info. Or head on over to todayissomeday.net. All right, guys, that's it for today. We'll see you on, on the, the road. road.